Hello everyone, I'm Supreet and today I'm going to discuss article writing. Article writing is in the syllabus of grade 12th, 11th, 9th and 10th and it is also there in 8th class CBSE curriculum. So let's get started. So in article writing, content is important, so is the expression. Content and expression both are very much important. A student when is writing an article should express the content in chronological order and at the same time the content should have some weightage in it. It should be presentable, it should be informative and the students should use some facts and figures in it because almost all the time article writing is written about some issue or about you know something which is quite common. Like for example, if we discuss, it was in there, it was in the grade twelfth board examination that the article writing was on water scarcity, sometimes on cleanliness, pollution, and etc. So the students should be aware of the latest updates related to these issues or whatever the topic of article writing is. Let's get started. If you are planning to write an article, you should be aware that article writing consists of this so let's check this checklist article writing first of all it starts by an by a title then name of the writer is given which we often say byline then article is to be introduced the first para is the introduction of the article and then we do the analysis of the that particular article that piece of article, that topic, we do the analysis of that and we also mention facts and figures and we describe the article further. It also contains additional information, then solution to that and we also give conclusion to this article writing. So this is the checklist of article writing which consists of these heads. Now article writing, when we are doing article writing, a student should be able to attract the attention of the reader. So there are ways to hook your reader. So let's get started. Let's discuss those ways to hook the reader. So article writing can start with a, with an announcement like wake up, shout it, the mother earth. It can also start with an exclamation. Oh, I forgot that we humans have stopped feeling anything. So when we start our article with an announcement or an exclamation or something like that, it attracts the attention of the reader. Reader wishes to go thoroughly, read the article thoroughly. And it also fetch you more marks. So it can also start with a description. The air we breathe contains less of oxygen, but more of carbon monoxide, SO2, SO3 and other pollutants from the industries and man-made and it goes on. So it can also start with a description. So article writing, there should be the usage of adjectives also. The water was crystal clear, but contaminated with poisonous waste. So suppose we are writing an article on water pollution so we can start it in this manner it will attract the attention of the reader and it can you know we can use adverbs also humans are performing misdeeds so recklessly that environment has been contaminated contaminated you know to the extreme degree so it can we can also use adverbs in it now see article writing when we are writing an article we should know how to introduce our article we should know of the phrases to be used so in the introduction part, we can use many are of the opinion. Many believe that, a lot many consider, some people think and are used to think, many of us strongly believe, in the world it is often believed, the present youth believes, the present youth endorses, millions endorse the fact that air pollution has increased to this level not only us but the whole globe believes in this hardly there is a person who doesn't endorse this so these are the introductory phrases which can be used often students use only this one you know nowadays in today's generation and all that which are kind of you know uh, so repeated kind of phrases so we can use instead any of these phrases for introducing our article moving further 
we give our opinion in article writing so when we are giving our opinion we should give it in this way i think that according to my knowledge as per my thinking i realize that i strongly favor i am of the opinion from my perspective in my view it's my understanding that as i understand it as i see it it seems to me that so these are the you know phrases suggestive phrases when you are giving your opinion while writing an article now supporting paragraph obviously when we are writing an article after giving our opinion we have to give a supporting paragraph so supporting paragraphs are you know include three kinds of informations but like first we are to add some information we are to contrast or contradict we are to write something that happens in order so in all these three ways we are to use different different kind of connectors so like does this sentence add an information you can use words like moreover furthermore additionally not only but also or another addition transition so addition transitions are to be used in this case so if the sentence contrasts or contradict then we are to use however on the other hand in contrast yet conversely or another contrasting transition like nevertheless etc are we are you writing something that happens in order use the phrases like next then in fact similarly or a time word like first second third and finally so these are the words which are to be used when you are giving a supporting paragraph but you should know your supporting paragraph which purpose it is serving so accordingly use the word and supporting paragraph does this sentence add evidence to it and in case it is adding evidence use the words like for example for an instance consequently for this reason or another adding transition you can use in it and if the sentence emphasizes an idea use obviously especially as a rule particularly indeed or another emphasizing transition phrase or word so this is how the supporting paragraph is to be done now obviously when article writing is written done then you know in the end we give conclusion for conclusion you know these phrases or words can be used finally in a word in brief briefly in conclusion in uh, the end in the final analysis on the whole thus to conclude to conclude to summarize in sum to sum up in summary or in nutshell so these are the phrases which can be used or words which can be used to give conclusion of it now see instead of using said said is the word which is you know often used you know while we are writing anything so instead of using say said we can use some other words in case you know it is something normal it can be used you know instead of said we can use announced answered added quoted explained replied asked stated questioned inquired suggested deduced and emotionally if it is you know in case we are saying something emotionally cried pleaded requested begged promised apologized confessed sang recited scoffed complained vowed and softly whispered murmured moaned mumbled muttered hissed groaned and loudly shouted yelled barked blurted cheered hollered demanded exclaimed scolded screamed so these are the words instead of said we can use it is just for some more information on it now let's consider these sentences there's a sentence felling of trees has a bad effect on the climate and another sentence is felling of trees has an adverse or harmful effect on the climate in fact it results in no rain as a matter of fact it results in a sharp decline in the rainfall at last we are suffering without water and eventually we are facing water scarcity now when we see these sentences when we consider these sentences we can easily make out the difference that you know the sentence in the first then in the third and then in the fifth column are informal sentences so when we are writing an article we should use only formal sentences because it is a formal piece of writing moving further now plan your article uh this is kind of template only which you can also see on my blog which is supreet deol blog spot you can search it on google so it contains like first of all a catchy title and a byline then introduce the article and analyze add details to the article describe further add some facts to it and talk about the solution and in the end you are to give a conclusion so this is how an article is to be written these are the you know parts of an article these in this information your article should have 
now article writing template for this article writing template follow the link given in the description or find from the blog and the blog is Sukpreet Deol Blogspot. You can search for more content also on this blog only. I have updated my blog, updated the material on my blog. So now we are going to consider an article on air quality which has been written following the parameters I suggested above. So you can see the sharp difference when we write an article without following these parameters and we write an article following these param parameters there is a difference. There is a difference of expression also and content also and obviously it will be fetching you more marks so let's get started water and air the two essential fluids on which all life depends have become global garbage cans wherever I go my lungs always feel hungry for fresh air the air I breathe is full of venom which is killing many of us silently i question such an advancement which has worsened the condition of air to this level that it has become a bigger global killer so in the first two paragraphs only i have talked about water and air pollution and i've also added my personal feelings using some adjectives to describe this article further now the global conference on air pollution now i'm going to add some facts to it to make it more presentable and full of content the global conference on air pollution and health was organized from 30th october to 1st november 2018 at the headquarters of who in Geneva. air pollution levels remain at dangerously high levels in many parts of the world new data reveals that nine out of ten people breathe air containing high levels of pollutants like black black carbon which penetrate deep into the car lungs and cardiovascular system so here in this para i have given the data is quite alarming i've given some data which i fetched from google only so it's not that you always that you are to learn this data but obviously when you are going through you know those current topics and all that you can add some information in your article which fetches you more marks and it looks more presentable to continue it further 4.2 million deaths happen every year as a result of exposure to ambient or outdoor air pollution and 3.8 million deaths happen every year as a result of household exposure to smoke from dirty cook stoves and fuels. 91% of the world's population lives in places where air quality exceeds WHO guideline limits. When we move further, the air that we breathe has become a silent the air that we breathe has become a silent killer now another census brought to light that delhi patna gawalia and raipur are the four most polluted cities in the world 13 cities of the top 20 most polluted cities are in india although beijing has a worse reputation with its visible smoke formed mostly from 10 micron particulates delhi has more of these as well as many more of the more dangerous smaller sub 2.5 micron ones that kill as they go deeper into the lungs delhi's air is 15 times more polluted than the who saved maximum so all these facts you need not learn but at least you can mention two three facts to make your article more presentable and full of content so obviously next we are moving further with this whether from vehicle emissions or industry we are talking about the causes of this pollution so when we talk about causes of this pollution this is something which we can add here so this is something which you can add here, whether from vehicle emissions, industrial smoke tasks, smokestacks or paraffin stoves in the slums, this pollution is manifested across many Indian cities in escal escalating asthma rates, asthma rates, it's asthma, asthma rates, higher cancer incidents and more heart attacks and strokes. A pivotal issue about air, poor air quality is that it has multiple casual factors and impacts multiple areas, from industrial strategy and energy policy to vehicle emissions to city design and transportation choices, the four is driving increased pollution into mine and it goes on so herein i'm talking about this problem further i'm talk i'm looking into the causes to make my article more presentable now i'm giving a solution to it the problem has reached at its peak and the solution is to be applied immediately so herein i have to give a very practical solution which can be applied change in our habits is daily required less use of vehicles more use of bicycles carpooling garbage management increasing green cover the most basic solution for air pollution is to move away from fossil fuels 
replacing with replacing them with alternative energies like solar wind and geothermal so this is my solution to this particular article to enhance air quality so this is how article writing goes on now when you have written this article your article will be edited checked on this these parameters first of all you should know what to capitalize the first letter of each sentence should be capital proper nouns should be capital and titles and dates then check the usage of verbs subject and verb agreement all adjectives describe nouns all adverbs describe verbs all pronouns are used properly specifically those confusing words there and there quite and quiet on and on now and no etc so the usage of these words should be very much clear check the punctuation also correct punctuation marks should be used commas are used properly and quotation marks are properly used and vocabulary the vocabulary which you use that should be proper that should be according to the topic which you are writing on proper vocabulary spellings are correct read thoroughly look for errors if any and use dictionary for correct usage of words that's it for now take care keep learning please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this if you like it please comment and share thanks thanks explore the blogs blog supridol blog spot for content on this thank you so much